It's been a long time coming from the FC South Carolina, baby Sometimes it feels like the world is against me Cause I'm coming from SC Hi guys, welcome back to the Nail Genie SC So I was just showing you guys my little boo-boo I made on my finger Oh baby hurts herself <laughs> Doing something I ain't had no business doing. Something I knew better not to do. But anyway, guys, this is going to be a um, how to apply heart gel 101. And before we get into that, I am showing you guys these beautiful 12 reflective gel liners that I purchased off of Amazon. Thanks to my nail sister, Nat's Nail Journey, here on YouTube, who uh, dropped the link. And uh, gave, uh, showed me these uh, nice 12 affordable gel liners. So, yes, I had to jump on that. And we will be using some of these liners in today's Watch Me um, or How to Apply Heart Gel 101 lesson. So, guys, I am by no means, let's put a disclaimer on here now while y'all watching these beautiful gels. I'm by no means. <laughs> an instructor or perfect with my gel applications but I do love these one on one sessions and according to the comments you guys love them too so today our one on one session is going to be how to apply hard gels and hopefully this tutorial will help you guys um, when starting your heart gel journey or if you're already trying to start your journey and having a few issues Maybe some of the things we go over today in this video will maybe help you um, To get your application wherever you're trying to get it to So I already pre prepped my practice hand So if I've already did all of the work I need to do to her to get her going So I think I have my rubber base from um, OPI um, here um, that I'm going to use on her today. I don't like to use my um, Lisette Gel Nails Rubber Base because that's for my clients, not for my practice hand. <laughs> so, but I did purchase, I think it's OPI, uh, um, if I'm not mistaken. But I purchased it from um, my local Walgreens. And that's still pretty expensive. But, yeah, I purchased some rubber base from there. And that was, um, that's my go-to when I run out of my rubber base from LGN Pro. And I can't get to it right away or I can't make the purchase right away. It works still the same. And it helps, it performs on my client still the same. But I wanted to use that one on the practice hand. So, I just picked the four uh, reflective gel liners that we are going to use in this video today so let's get out some gel and i think we're going to be using ibd hard gel today um the clear and it's called orly that's what it's called not um whatever i said it was guys my mind went blank but it's orly so it's a rubber base and i purchased it at uh walgreens so, and I like this. It's, it's really good. I've had it on my own hands. I've tried it on my clients. Not tried it. I've used it on my clients. And her nails held up really well. Um, I have a client that only uses gel. She does not use acrylic at all because we tried the acrylic. And she was having so many issues with the acrylic that we just went to gel. And she's been using gel, hard gel. And she's been using hard gel ever since. So, I'm putting a little alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, in my uh, little dampened dish here. Um, that's just to help keep my brush clean. And um, we're going to use this IBD Clear Heart Gel. And I love this stuff. It's good. And this is what I was using before I start buying other heart gels. IBD was the first line of gel products, and I still like using still want to purchase still purchase at times um but right here i am just taking a base coat it don't matter which base coat you use but i'm just taking a base coat and i'm putting it over that 
rubberized um, rubber uh, rubber base. So I'm just taking this base coat and I'm putting it over the rubber base. Now some people go from the rubber base to uh, the application, but this is like a bunder for me. So I'm just bunding the nails and giving it um, because as you know, gel uh, marries gel, right? So I'm putting that base on there so it'll give me a better um, application and adhesion um, for the product. So all I'm doing is I'm going to flip her hand over and then I'm going to put her in the light. So I'll cure her for 60 seconds on a full cur cure for 60 seconds. And now I have um, the reflective polish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the reflective gels first and then i'm going to encapsulate with my heart gel so usually if i was just doing like using a nude base and not wanting to do a design i would just go in with the nude base so here i'm doing a um i'm going to do design then i'm going to do a slip layer and then i'm going to apply the gel base so here I'm just doing a simple design like around the edge, free edge and the side walls of the nail um, and giving it a little color. And then I'm going to place it under this lamp and let it cure. And I give it like a 30 second cure just to harden the, the gel up because I'm, I know that I don't really need to fully cure it because I'm going to put all of this under the light for a full 60 seconds once i get my application set so here i'm just going back over the outline just to give it more pigment um again for a second time so when i do encapsulate my reflective gels still come through so that's what i'm doing here and i just wanted a simple design something just for this one-on-one -on -one. but working with gels is so easy guys i love working with hard gel they are so forgiving um they're easy to file you don't have all of that and you don't really need a hard file to file any type of gels but hard gels are so forgiving and so easy to file and so easy to clean up and you know get everything back right um supposed to acrylics like if you had divots in acrylics then you probably have to you know get out the acrylic brush and try to clean up that divot but with gels you can use your top coat to fill in those divots if you had divots or build up that nail so gel is so forgiving um so here all i'm doing is the first thing i'm going to do on each nail is just do the first thing and that's the design because i'm going to encapsulate these designs and so today on my practice hand i am using my practice hand as if it was a regular nail bed so i'm showing you how to apply hard gels over your natural nail if that makes sense a uh, natural nail bed but for my practice hand you see i didn't add no extensions these are just the little practice tips that you click in and you can add extensions to these tips to make the nail longer or do other things or you can just do simple manicures so today we are just going to do a simple heart gel manicure on this practice hand and i'm showing you guys that it can be done if you have a, a nice length on your natural nail or even if you like the way your natural nail is short you can always still do a cute little design on your natural nail and then encapsulate it with the heart gel just to protect the integrity of the natural nail so you can um build because i've noticed while doing my cousin's nails which is my client she does pay me um but she is family um while doing her nails with the heart gels we get so much growth in her natural nail i mean it takes no time for her natural nail to catch up with the enhancement and once the enhance it catches up with the enhancement now we're just dealing with the natural nail until the nail you know break or she want to start over with another enhancement and she just don't want her natural nails and she want to just start again but 
that's the one thing I love about um, heart gels is that it just does something to the natural nail plate. It just helps it to just grow. I mean, the extension of the growth in a natural nail with this heart builder gel is amazing to me. And so that's why um, I, I like using it and I definitely like it for her um, because we've seen so uh, much We've seen um, such a difference in how her nails perform with the gel. So here I'm just, like I said, all I'm doing here, guys, is doing the first um, layer as a design. So I'm going to let you guys watch me do the, um, I don't know if I did the thumb or not, but I'm going to let you see me doing the rest of the nails in whatever design I choose. And then I'll come back when we get into application. guys so we're going to get into application and what i'm doing here is i'm going to take a small portion of that gel and i'm going to create myself a slip layer so i'm going to just put a, a light layer on top of the nail and then i'm going to take me a good portion of the gel and i'm just going to put a blob right at the cuticle area 
And without lifting my gel brush, I'm just going to pillow it down. And so what you want to do is you want to push it and pillow it around your cuticle area. And then bring it down, not lifting your brush. Because if you lift your brush from the gel, go ahead and just let the gel, go ahead and use that brush and, and use it like, I'm, I'm trying to, how am I trying to explain it? If you, if you keep your your brush on the gel, you won't get the air bubbles. If you lift your brush from that gel, go ahead and just take the rest of the gel and put it on like gel polish. And then grab you another, um, no, I don't want to say blob, but it don't sound right. Grab you another portion of the gel and then start there to uh, finish out building the strength and structure of your nail. Because when you take the brush away from the gel, that's when you start getting the air bubbles. So you, if you ever notice, you like, okay, this is a clear gel. And it's better to practice with a clear gel because then you learn and you can see those bubbles being created on the hand or the finger or the practice finger or your finger. And you kind of can figure out what, what am I doing wrong? So... I'm telling you this, guys, because I had to learn it myself. I practiced and practiced with hard gels because, and of course you guys have seen, I have a nice acrylic collection. My whole purpose was to go to school to learn acrylic, but found out when I came out of school that most of my clients was asking for gel. So I had to learn how to do builder gel and hard gels and all of that good stuff by watching some of the ladies that I um, shouted out last week on my channel, plus just learning the process and practicing, practicing, practicing until I got it looking the way I wanted it to look and I know that it'll look great on my clients. Not all the time I get it right, but majority of the time now I can get it right. And so... What I'm doing here is just going around the edges and making sure that the gel is filled in. So just like with acrylic with gel, you want to look at every angle and every side of the nail to make sure that your gel is filled in on all sides. And for me, because I'm on my practice hand, I'm letting the hand flow down. But usually I would just flip the hand upside down and let the um, hand, let the gel pull to the center helping to create that apex so because this hand is so uh complicated to move around and do all of that stuff like a natural hand you could just ask your client to can you flip the hand and as you if you look back on one of my watch me work videos recently i did a heart gel application on my client and so you saw that her she was flipping her hand upside down and that's just to help bring center the uh, gel into the center and create help me create that apex for her so that is uh why i flipped the hand upside down but because i'm using my practice hand i'm not going to build too much on this hand because one i don't want to use all my ibd heart gel on my practice hand too <laughs> because this stuff is not cheap and number two, it's a practice hand. So I just need, I just want to be able to show you guys a basic one-on-one -on -one how to apply the heart gel. So you want to put down your base layer and then you want to um, go ahead and put down your layer of gel to build and give your nails strength and structure. So it's so easy, like I said, but it do take practice. A lot of people use their gel like, um, even their heart gels, they paint them on like, like they would paint on gel polish. And you can do that. It just takes more layering to build it up. So you can do that as well. And I will show you guys in another video that type of application. If you want to see it, just leave me a comment down below in the comment section and say yeah can you show us that that way as well and we can do that it just take a little bit longer because you know you're using gel just like you're using 
Um, so guys, in today's video, the definition word for today is dermatologist is a physician engaged in the practice of treating the skin, including its structures, functions, and diseases. So that is our word definition for today. And so I kind of lost my train of thought, guys, here. So I'm just doing the same thing. I'm providing that slip layer. And then I'm going to take me a good amount of the heart gel. And then I'm going to pillow it around the cuticle area and then bring it down the rest of the nail. So I like to use the pillowing um, method. And if I don't like I don't have enough gel here, I just stop. And then I just go and pick up some more gel and then I pillow it in um, and smooth it out so I can um, create the structure of the nail. And when you see me taking the brush and going up the center of my nail with the gel, I'm just creating that apex. I'm just making that apex a little bit, you know, that giving that roundness and that stability. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing here. And so now I am flipping my trainer up, hand up, and this is what I would do to my client. So I'm looking down the barrel of the nail and I'm looking at the nail from all angles and I'm seeing where I need to move that gel around. So I like to do that with the hand upside down. And so now I'm just going to stick the whole hand in the light and I'm going to cure the hand for 60 seconds. And I think I might have even gave it two full cures for 60 seconds because I was just freezing the gel in the place under the small UV lamp that I was using. So here I'm just cleaning out my brush and I'm just taking that um, little bit of alcohol, wiping off the brush with a uh, clean paper towel just to get that stickiness off the, um, what is that, the ferrule of the brush. So um, then I'm just going to stick the brush back in its cap. There's nothing else you need to do with your gel brushes. You want to leave a little bit of gel in your brush, but make sure you never store your brushes in any type of light or under a UV light or anything like that or even near the sun because if you do, your brush will harden because the gel that's left in the brush will cure in the brush. Okay, so now that I've done that and I've cured the hand, I took the hand out the light and now it comes time for shaping and fouling. So guys, before you shape and file on any type of gel, meaning builder gels, and Lord, you see these little hands, they just falling apart. But uh, <laughs> before you shape and file on any of the surface of a gel enhancement, you want to take the isopropyl alcohol and clean the nails, saturate the nails really, really well, and clean that inhibition layer, which is that tacky, sticky layer off of the nail before fouling so you don't gunk up your files or create any problems with your file. So I am taking a, this is a 100, 100 grit Tammy Taylor pill and stick file that I love so much. And this is the one I use for my practice hands. So I keep this one on my um, desk. So I am taking it here and I'm just going on the surface of the nail uh, buffing out any of the um, divots or, you know, uh, just cleaning up and smoothing out the application. So I'm going around the side walls and the free edge. And guys, if you ever is um, fouling on gel or buffing out a, a surface on gel, it's the same when you foul in um, acrylic right but you don't have to foul so much so and you don't have to rough up the surface but if you see like those little wet spots like you see there you see those wet spots in the nail then that means that you have like a divot in the nail so you want to buff that out so you can count you can get the evenness of that application so if that um helps you that's like a little hint that i learned that 
that little wet spot if it's not everything is not even so i need to even everything out so i need to buff that until that's not showing that little wet spot anymore if that makes sense all right so here i'm just doing the fouling and buffing of the surface of the nail trying to clean up the shape before doing a uh, cure on the i mean before applying the top coat of the nail so that's what i'm doing here and guys while i'm doing this and you all are watching me do this i just want to take the time out to say thank you to all my subscribers guys we finally did it we reached 200 subscribers and i am ecstatic yippee 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 yay <laughs> Guys, this road has been very, very, um, very joyous. But it has been some work. And creating content and giving you guys content, I only hope to grow my channel even more. But to see myself at 200 subscribers, I am just so proud of my subscribers, my viewers, this channel my supporters and most of all i'm proud of myself um i give all honor and glory to the one above my god he loves me and he gives me the talent to continue to do what i'm doing for you guys um and i hope that we rock this thing out to where i'm seeing twenty thousand subscribers so guys i am claiming it i want to see thousands and thousands upon thousands of subscribers on this channel so if you've been here and you have not yet subscribed to me i can assure you it's a free subscription you don't have to pay for anything just hit that subscribe button so you'll be subscribed to my channel and you don't miss any content that i'm giving or sending or placing on my channel and um, hit that bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And guys, leave me a comment down below and tell me if this video helped you any. Um, do you deal with builder gels or hard gels or even poly gels? And did this application today um, help you moving forward on your application? um so guys i want to say thank you and today my nail sister shout out goes to priya k nails and priya is part of the charm sisters so i did tell you guys that i will be shouting out the other two charm sisters in my video and so today goes to none other than priya k and i adore her she is an awesome amazing nail artist nail enthusiast um, her camaraderie with her net her charm sisters is so amazing and it's so inspiring to see uh, Priya keep rocking it out. I enjoy your content. I enjoy all you do and until the next time guys the deuces are flying Poof the nail genie She's out